Hey, um, my name is Monty Twining, uh, together with my wife Diane. Uh, we're the uh, people who run Rooster Root, and my idea is to, or not my idea, my job is to design our new products. And uh, their latest thing we're coming out with here in 2023 is going to be called our Heritage Series Coops. It's a collection of three coops that are basically modular. Um, okay. They sure. come in the same widths, but different lengths, hold different numbers of chickens, um, and basically they're just longer. There's a couple of features I was uh, wanting to point out. We've got a prototype that we're building right now, but we're in a pre-sale mode on our website now, and if you're interested in this coop, maybe this video can help you walk through it. Um, we're hoping that uh, by mid-February we'll have live pictures of a Model 30 that we have built and um, we'll have some live pictures on the website. But right now we're just kind of working through the design. There's a few last minute things that we want to do to the roof. Um, we got to work out some specifics about how this water locks into this panel, for instance. And there's a few other details. But most of the information is set and so let me kind of give you a quick little walkthrough. Um, the coop is modular in the sense that um, if you wanted these egg boxes, for instance, to be located uh, further forward, um, that's no problem, or you can leave them where they're at. Um, the same thing goes for if you wanted to take this storage room that is on the side of the coop. The, the Model 20 has a single compartment storage room. The Model 30 has a double compartment storage room. Um, and I'm going to go to a different field of view here so we can kind of go inside the coop and you'll notice that uh, you, there's a door inside the uh, that you can get the storage room from inside the coop as well. Um, you'll notice that the door doesn't open up all the way to the ground and the reason for that is we're trying to build this out to where people who live where it's really cold can um, set up a deep litter uh, bedding uh, in the coop if they want to. Uh, it also gives some wind protection to the chickens, and we also like it because it kind of matches our greenhouse and gives a certain style to everything. Uh, the coop is built out of 100% uh, western red cedar. We've got a really innovative uh, roof joist system that we have in place here where there's going to be a, a two-part roof joist. will get delivered to you left and right, and like literally all you're going to have to do is... Um, Take and put these bolts in place. The bolts will assemble one half into the other half, and uh, you'll actually get a bolt. Well, actually, you get a bunch of bolts just like this one um, that you put in place, and they really not have to be tight or anything like that. It sort of locks it together and forms the roof joist system. Um, they look great. I think they look great. <laughs> I've been drawing on this thing for several months now. Um, and uh, they should be really strong too, so that when you're down inside this coop, uh, kind of looking up, you'll see this roof joist system up in the top. Um, I think it's about 81 inches of headroom, uh, 82 from the joist to the ground. Um, this will give you an idea of what that looks like. This is a woman that we've got modeled in here at five foot four. Um, I switch back to a different camera view here now that we're sort of outside the coop. So that doesn't look quite so distorted and I'll kind of walk you around. So you got the entry door here. Um, the panels on the coop are pretty open and uh, it's made, chickens are by far um, sensitive to heat rather than cold. Uh, really, we out of the probably 25 or 30,000 chickens that live in 10,000 plus coops we have, we really don't ever hear of anybody's chickens like freezing to death, you know, we really don't even hear about them getting too hot. And I think the reason for that is we build really open coops. But we do sell storm panels, so all of these panels that are on this will get, be able to be covered with uh, specialized um, polyethylene panels that we have made that have a UV inhibitor in them. Uh, so that if anybody who lives where it snows, you can keep snow from going into the coop. Um, but the coop is going to stay ventilated. It's got kind of a monitor style roof. Uh, let me turn off the um, roof panel here and you can kind of see that there's like a little truss system. Um, the neat part about the way that the truss system works is that um, you don't have to like build out all these little parts. They're really, um, you can see there's, a, there's the main trusses. Um, 
and let's turn on the roost the cross braces these are individual panels they're already pre-made they get to be set in place either by you or your handyman and so that builds up the roost real, real fast um, you're, you're not like building piece by piece um, let's turn back on I'm going to turn on everything except for um, the roof. You can see that the roof panels, I'm going to hide these water. Um, these are all pre-cut. We cut them on a CNC machine. Um, they're, they're a little bit short, and the reason that they're a little bit short is so that you can stand on a ladder and install them, or your handyman stand on a ladder and install them. But there's nothing special about them. They're all pre-cut. They all have holes drilled in them where the holes go. So there's nothing there that's difficult. Um, I'm going to actually get you a piece of this roof material. Um, hold on just a second. Let me roll over my desk. This will give you um, an idea. It's a Palaram SunTouch polycarbonate roof material. It like literally is indestructible. Like if it gets hail or if something falls on it or whatever, it just it's like literally indestructible. Uh, but it lets a little bit of light through. The reason we went ahead and did a, a tented roof is to let, let some sunlight get on the hens. Sunlight's good for your hens. It also helps dry out the ground. This doesn't transmit heat, um, so it really is a it's, it's a perfect roof for something like this, and it'll package up to where we can ship it. Uh, no big deal either. Um, getting back to the computer model, um, the Model 30 comes with four egg boxes. The Model 20 comes with three egg boxes. Uh, the Model 40 comes with five egg boxes. The egg boxes are all pretty much the same. They're kind of modular units that you can um, that you can plug in, and uh, each one of them has two compartments. Um, that gives plenty of plenty of space for hens to do what they do, um, and they just they're just sort of plug in, plug out. So once you get them, they they go in from the outside, they plug in, and boom, you got eight boxes. We already mount these day roost bars or jump bars, whatever you want to call them. Um, to the egg boxes so that the chickens can get in. Um, the roost area in the back, let me get to a little wider field of view here. The roost area in the back um, is designed for the number of hens that you're getting. Um, it's a two, um, it's kind of a two section unit. Um, when you order a 30 or a 40 series, it's a one section unit on the 20 series. Um, and uh, you can kind of get a good view of it there where there's just racks for the hens to roost on. We've got a ramp in case somebody has silkies or any older birds or whatever, but generally the birds are just gonna jump up into place. Um, the other thing we should point out is all of these panels on the back part of the coop fold down and um, they will allow just super good ventilation in the roost area. And in the winter time, you can fold it up so that you can really button up the roost if somebody is really getting nasty sub-zero kind of temperatures and wind chills that are going on. Um, I'm trying to think what else you'd want to know. It comes with two automatic doors on, the, uh, on all the models, and the automatic doors are both located on the uh, roost as well as on the run. Um, so that you can let your chickens out, but you could also lock them into the roost area for whatever reason you want to. Um, and that we have with a water system built into each one of them, the water system can have a heater put into it to keep the water from uh, freezing. We also, com it comes with standard poultry nipples, but we sell a, a freeze resistant poultry nipple that gets you down to about zero degrees. Um, it's all Cedar construction, this is all HDPE, it's all UV protected. Um, I'm, we're gonna also, on this particular model, because of the level of investment that's being made, um, we're going to be dipping the bottom rails of this into a wood densifying solution. Um, you know, so depending on where you live, there's no reason to expect that this thing wouldn't sit around on the ground for 20 years. The coop will be delivered with all of the necessary tie-downs. 
Um, we design everything to really not require tying down up to tropical storm force winds of 35 miles per hour. As far as like um, the actual panel strength, um, they're good for hurricane force winds. Um, you know, past hurricane force, we did really, really well in the recent storm that went through Florida in terms of our coops withstanding that storm, but still we had some that had some damage, usually from trees falling on them. But you know, once they're, if they're anchored, or it's a lot of times even if they're not anchored, they stand up well, but we definitely recommend that people anchor them. Um, I'm trying to think what else I'd like to tell you about it. Um, gee, that's a, I don't know, that's about it. Uh, again, the model, uh, the model 20 is 20 feet long, holds 30 chickens. The model 40 is um, 40 feet long, holds 50 chickens. And this one is the model 30. It's 30 feet long and it holds 40 chickens. So it's a little bit confusing. Uh, the model dement is the dimension and then the chickens is a few extra, 10 more. And you obviously don't have to put that many chickens in them, but I've kind of done the math as far as the floor space, the roost bar space, as well as the egg box space for the chicken recommendation in terms of the mac maximum chicken recommendation. Uh, we deliver these coops with a uh, Coopworks 80 pound silo feeder. Um, it just sits in the run area. There's plenty of room in there for it. Um, the smaller 20 series comes with one. The larger 30 and 40 series comes with two. Um, we do plan on offering uh, some sort of a customized name board so people can um, put some sort of a name on their coop like you know sally's chickens um, but i'm not 100 percent sure how we're going to do that yet i don't really have that model but that's definitely uh, something that you'll see on the website here pretty soon um, and uh i don't know just kind of as an ode to our we've been in business now for 10 years our round top coops we always kind of had these two little holes in the top of them and kind of as a um, kind of as a homage to that design feature, we put those on this coop as well. Um, really don't know what else to tell you about this bad boy other than uh, it's over the top. We kind of call it the mega coop. And if you've got any questions, give us a call.